Can this $30 grocery store drill driver take on the Milwaukee M12 brushed drill driver? Let's find out in this episode of Cheap versus Expensive. Hey friends, welcome back to The Garage. My name is Jim with Philly Fixed and this episode of Cheap vs. Expensive, we're taking the Parkside 12 volt drill driver available exclusively at the grocery store Lidl. Uh, if you don't have a Lidl around you in the US, um, there's not quite as many here, but in Europe, uh, particularly in Germany, there's lots of Lidl grocery stores around and they sell their house brand of tools, Parkside. Uh, and then of course we have the brushed M12 uh, drill driver. This is not their fuel, this is their entry level M12 drill driver. Uh, both of these have 3 8 inch chucks. Uh, the Milwaukee has a, a metal chuck, it's not the best metal chuck, but it is metal. The Parkside has a plastic chuck, but you can remove it and it has a quarter inch hex uh, bit driver underneath. So this is kind of cool. You can kind of use it in like a screwdriver mode. Not that you couldn't use the chuck for a driver bit, but uh, it's kind of nice that it has that. Now, you might be thinking, does this have other attachments, kind of like the Milwaukee installation driver uh, or something like that? This didn't come with it. I haven't seen it online, but it's possible, especially you European viewers. Tell me if this thing comes with, you know, angled attachments and stuff uh, like the Milwaukee M12 installation driver does maybe over in Europe that we just can't get here in the States. So we're gonna put these through a series of drilling and driving tests. We're gonna see if this grocery store drill driver can compete with the entry level M12 with their four amp hour batteries on both. Let's get to it. Parkside with its four amp hour battery comes in at two pounds, 11.5 ounces. And the Milwaukee M12 with an XC 4.0 battery comes in at three pounds, 1.5 ounces. Up first, let's try a 3 8 inch twist bit. The park side does not have a ratcheting chuck. We're on drill mode. It does have two speeds, two gears. We're in second gear. We're gonna try it in our two by four. All right, no problem for the park side. By the way, the park side does have sort of a battery meter. When you pull the trigger, it gives you green, yellow, and red. Green meaning fully charged, but of course, it only works when you pull the trigger and it's kind of dicey, but it is there. M12, fully charged battery. We are in drill mode. We are in second gear. Half-inch speed bore self-feed auger bit. Stalled on speed two. Let's try speed one. Self-feed on the Milwaukee. Three quarter inch spider stinger self feed spade bit back on gear two. Okay, we'll try it on speed one. Speed two on the Milwaukee. Okay, speed one. Quarter inch by six inch lag. We've got the chuck removed from the park side and we're using the hex driver. We're on speed two. Okay. 
Okay, switch to speed one. Milwaukee, speed two. Try it one more time. Okay, speed one. <laughs> it's flashing. It did not, did not like that. I don't know if you saw it flashing. All right, and just for fun, we're gonna see which one registers more torque on this half inch torque adapter using a 3 8 inch lag. And we're gonna be on speed one for both. Eight point six foot pounds. Nine point one foot pounds. All right, well, I don't think there's any question the Milwaukee have the edge in power and torque. Um, however, I will say the Parkside is not bad for a little brushed 12 volt tool. Uh, I do like that you can take this chuck off and you get your hex driver uh, on it. And you know, for around the house, driving smaller screws, drilling some holes to hang pictures, some basic stuff like that. I don't think there's anything wrong with the Parkside. And you can go buy it and tell your wife you went grocery shopping. <laughs> so uh, what do you guys think? Would you buy either of these tools in the first place or are they both beneath you because they're brushed? Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you want to see more. My name is Jim with Philly Fixed. God bless you guys. Hello, I'm Jim Davis.